Hello. My name is George, and today I'm going to give you a comprehensive overview on how to wire smart glass and hide the wires for a clean look. This video will cover operating smart glass, smart glass components, choosing the wires, extending the wires, hiding the wires, wiring smart glass on doors, calculating power consumption, control options for smart glass. To jump to a topic, simply use the time code in the video description or jump to one of the times indicated here. Let's get started. How smart glass operates. Smart glass is a truly revolutionary technology, allowing you to transform glass from clear to frosted with the flick of a switch. This is accomplished by the application of electrical current to PDLC liquid crystals. When powered on, the crystals align and the glass becomes transparent. When powered off, the crystals scatter the light making the glass turn a milky white. Smart glass is installed just like regular glass, with the exception of the wiring. Any smart glass installation project will comprise three main components. The smart glass itself, the transformer, and the wires that connect the smart glass to the transformer. Smart glass technology comes in two forms, smart glass and smart film. Smart film is applied to existing glass to transform it into switchable glass. By transformer, we are referring to a device that drops the voltage down from 110 volts to the lower voltage for safety. The number of transformers you will need depends on the number of areas smart glass will be installed in and the number of panels that work in unison. Our transformers include a remote control and can easily be connected to a wall switch. Here is the typical configuration. Each piece of smart glass or film is connected to the transformer with two wires. Smart glass uses a C power, not DC. This makes it impossible to mix up the positive and negative wires when wiring smart glass, thereby preventing any electrical disasters and making installation even easier. Here is a picture showing the gauge scale with the corresponding wire thickness. Because smart glass is a low voltage product, the optimal wire size is a 22 gauge, which is rated up to 6.3 amps or 300 watts. However, building codes often call for 18 gauge wiring for wires that are run behind drywall. For aesthetic reasons, the wires are usually run behind the drywall from the controller to the glass. The best time to do this, of course, is during the construction phase. You should leave the ends of the wires as close to the installation area as possible. Controllers can be placed in the ceiling, shelf or control room up to 100 feet away or you can simply mount it onto a wall. Once the film or glass is installed, you simply connect wires on the smart film to these leads. There are five methods for connecting or extending the wires. Heat shrink connectors, the twist and tape method, crimp connectors, terminal blocks, and wire nuts. There are two options for wiring smart glass post-construction. You can either run the wires behind the walls or on the surface of the walls. To run the wires behind the wall, simply drill a hole in the drywall and fish the wire through. If this cannot be done, you can run the wires along the surface of the walls using cable channels for a clean look. These channels can be purchased at any hardware store. To use them, drill holes into the cable channel, pull the wires through, and stick the cable channel onto the glass. These channels can also be used to cover bus bars. When applying them to smart film, we recommend leaving a gap of half of an inch. This way, you will have room to apply the channel to both the smart film, bus bars, and the glass. If you only apply the cable channels to the smart film, the film may eventually peel off the glass. The use of flat wire is another option. You can attach flat wire to wall surfaces and then paint it to make it invisible. All of these scenarios will lead to a clean and neat installation without visible wires. Our switchable glass products can be used on virtually any type of door from swing doors to sliding doors and folding doors. We have so many clever wiring solutions that we have created an entire video just on wiring smart glass on doors. Smart glass technology only consumes 5 watts of power per 10 square feet, so a typical 4 by 6 foot window would only require 12 watts of electricity, about the same as an LED bulb. Each of our transformers comes with a remote control to turn the glass on and off. 
But there are many other ways smart glass can be switched from clear to frosted, including wall switches and buttons, and also many contactless controls from home automation systems, smartphones to voice command. If you want to use a home automation system to switch smart glass on and off, the easiest way would be to use a Wi-Fi switch controller that is operated via tablet or smartphone. Wi-Fi or any other additional options must be installed between the power input and the power supply. This setup will allow you to cut off the power to the transformer through a device, such as Alexa, Wi-Fi, Sanofi, or Lutron wall switch. Other options include the Lutron Casita smart switch kit, the wireless Pico remote, or the wall switch with Jeffensing. You could also connect the transformer to a motion sensor so that the glass will react appropriately should the sensor detect any motion. Check out this video for more ideas on how to control smart glass. We appreciate you taking the time to watch and we're confident that this information will prove invaluable for your smart glass project. If there's anything else you need help with, don't hesitate to contact us. Our team of experts are standing by, ready to set you up for success.